Okay, brothers and sisters. So I want to do this video because um, brothers and sisters have been sending me emails concerning their angels who they believe have already visited them. Hallelujah. Amen. A few emails have come through as well. All right. I'm not going to go through all of them. But this is the second one after I posted my video concerning angels, your personal angel. And I want to give this testimony. I'm not going to call the beloved name, but obviously when I read it, they're going to know it's them. All right. Um, so, brothers and sisters, listen, like I say, your personal angels will be coming for you concerning the second exodus. Everybody's been assigned a guardian angel. You've been assigned an angel of the most high, providing you're living holy and righteous and walking um, <clears throat> in the love of a higher, okay? Providing you're walking in the law, <clears throat> sorry, in the love, my throat, it was a lie, of a higher, all right? It'll give his angels charge over you, all right? So, so, so this, so this is a email that came through and I wanted to read this one because there's something significant in it that drew my attention that drew my attention so here here it goes so uh the beloved says i also believe i have had i have already been visited by my angel last year um 2022 uh this is a little tricky to explain but i will try so, beloved, let some bullet points because obviously they want to explain as best as they can. So, beloved went on to say, last year's spring, early summer 2022, I was in my front gardening, planting flowers in flower pots and refreshing up the front garden. An elderly-ish gentleman whom I have never seen in the area before, approached me and simply said, Vamos. Now, I know from get-go when I saw the word Vamos, before the beloved went to explain what it was, I know what Vamos means. Because it's, a, it's a, like a Spanish word, isn't it? So I know what Vamos means. So this elderly gentleman just walked up to her. She was pottering about in her garden and just say, vamos. All right, I'm going to tell you what vamos mean as well, but just listen. I did not know what vamos meant. This is what beloved is saying. She said, beloved said, I didn't know what vamos meant. So I said, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, that is fine. So she said, being polite, thank you thinking he was saying nice garden let me just stop right here stranger come up to you all right just clear the word of vamos you're busy putting about this beloved could have easily easily says um ignore him or say i don't want to talk to you or go about your business she could have easily been rude but she didn't this is what I'm saying, total stranger. Learn, do not, do not turn away strangers. Don't be rude to strangers. Because sometimes these strangers are angels introducing themselves because they're coming for you when the second exodus um, begins to happen. Learn to have manners and respect to everybody, right? So she, she, she didn't know what Vamos meant, but her polite nature says you know thank you all right because she just thought that he was saying nice garden beloved said i responded further in some form like she began to say to him she's just she's making conversation with the stranger now and she began to say um are you here on a holiday but she said she can't remember exactly what she said but she was trying to make some conversation all right with this strange guy right strange elderly man he then used his hands so the stranger that says vamos then uses hands to gesture the sign as one would do 
uh, just a small children and then pointed down the road. So, while she was making conversation, are you like, are you from around here? Are you from, are you on holiday? The stranger began to use hand gesture like a child and point down the road, right? He smiled and then left. He looked to be around age 66, um, stout. So it was built, right? As if he is from the deep country region of an old Spanish town. Deep country region of an old Spanish town. All right. When I came back to the house, I looked up the word vamos and what it means because she didn't know. It does not mean nice garden at all. <laughs> so she believed that Vamos meant nice garden. Oh, no. Doesn't mean nice garden at all. It is Spanish. Me, it's a Spanish word that means let's go. Now, I'll give you the interpretation. So when, she, so, so when, when the email came through, and the first, when she said that she's in her garden pottering about, the man came up and said, Vamos. I knew exactly what vamos mean. Vamos means to vanish. It means to go, to get away, to be removed. Are, are you seeing what the Lord is doing to his people, brothers and sisters? Are you listening what Ahai is doing? Do not turn away, strangers. Wickedly, don't be rude. Learn to entertain. <laughs> Mighty God of creation, help us, Father. So she went back inside. Looked up the word vamos, and the word means let's go, of course. Of course. So, let's continue. Where or why would a complete stranger approach me and said, let's go? When I reflect, I consider the following, that he is my angel, introducing himself to me, so I would recognize him. When the time comes to flee, this is the second exodus. I also considered that his child or his, his I also considered that his, that his children jester, because remember he was doing a little childlike jester and pointing down the road, right? Um, and pointing down the road pointing was not okay so he was yeah she, well, point, pointing down the road was not him saying that he's come to visit his grandchildren down the road because she thought that's what he meant that because he was pointing down the road because remember he came up he said vamos she said thank you because she believed they said he almost meant nice garden. Then she began to make small conversation like how are you? Where are you from? Then he began the stranger began to make a child like gesture pointing down the road. So she thought that okay, it's probably come to visit his grandchildren or relative. But when the Lord began to deal with the heart of the beloved, that's not what he meant. He didn't come to visit no grandchildren, complete stranger in the area. And you look different. Notice how she describe him. He looks like an old, over they look, old Spanish, maybe ancient, old Spanish looking type angel. Interested, isn't it? Um, I have come to, I have, I have come to collect the children of, yeah, um, so... I have come to collect the children of Yah and go. I consider this a forewarning, saying, be ready. It will vamos suddenly. Absolutely. Because you've got to understand, if you understand the operation of the woman in Revelation 12. Did the woman, did the Bible describe the woman as, and the woman, in, and the woman clothed with the sun and the stars and the moon, took her time, her good old time, and gently walked. No! She vamos, she flee. <laughs> that what was happening to her. She was vamosing, she was fleeing. So 
that, that's what that's what the man believed that the, the angel, her personal angel, is saying, You're gonna flee, you're gonna vamoose from Babylon soon, right? Be ready, um, because it's gonna happen suddenly and quickly. I also understand vamos means hurry, right? So I have <laughs> so beloved said, I have since bought two suitcases, cat carrier and um preparing to vamos amen glory be you know all you need suitcases you need tent get some pop-up tents brothers and sisters you have these um these modern tents where you just press on it and it just pops up pop up it's called pop-up tent right this thing is gonna happen people are gonna leave babylon ahaya is coming for his people ahaya is coming for his people i'm telling you brothers and sisters that was definitely an angel that was not a madman. That was not somebody who was senile, an old senile man or no. That was an angel. Introducing himself. Obviously, angels not going to come up to you. They will say it when the second exodus is happening. They will come when the second exodus is flat. You've got to leave Babylon. Your angel that you met two years, three years, five years ago will come and say to you, you remember me? You met me and you're going to remember because they're going to leave that imprint. So like with this beloved, when the second exodus begin to happen and this angel come up, they're going to say, did you remember me? I told you Vamos when he was in the garden. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in this time, don't expect strangers to come up and say, oh, I'm your guardian angel. No. Use wisdom. They're not going to do that. They'll make small conversation. They'll come helping you. You might be walking on the street with your bag. Your bag fall on the floor out of nowhere. This person comes up helping you, picking up your stuff. Making small conversations. They're telling you that you've got to learn to read in your spirit. Because you've got to remember that Yesiah spoke in parables. He didn't come out fully spoke in parables so that people could understand. So angels are in parables. This one's speaking parables. So with me, with my angel, Michael, how did I know he was an angel? He said he didn't say to me, oh, Michael, the angel. No, he didn't say that. I had to read between the lines. So how did I know when I was 16 years old, ready to be ravished by two wicked dirty demons michael came and saved me how did i know it was an angel because he said something to me he said wherever you are in the world he said wherever you are in the world and if any trouble come to you i will come and i'll find you and when he said that to me as a 16 year old you like what is he talking about? He don't even know where I live. And I, at the time, I was a 16-year-old, 16, 16 very curious teenager. I asked a lot of questions, me. And um, I said to him, how will they find me? And he said, don't worry. He said, I'll come and find you. That's an angel. His name is Michael. How do I know his name? Because I asked, because we're curious. He's, a, he's, a, he's, he's called Michael. He's a prison officer, he says. He works in the prison. So when the second exodus come, and wherever I am, I don't know where I'm going to be. I have no idea. But anyways, when it's when the, that day, and we're fleeing in that day, not tomorrow, but that same day when we got to go on the ship because things are happening, Michael come to me. I'm going to remember him. May not remember his face and stuff like that. I don't know. Depending. But once he said to me, remember me, Carrie Ann? I was the one who saved you from those two horrible guys. Yeah. I'm waiting. This, this stuff is real. A higher uses angels. Like I say in the book of Toby, I think it's Toby, if I'm not wrong. Um, the book of the Upper Africa. In the book of Toby, Toby was with an angel. Didn't even know that the guy was an angel. Because the guy just operated like a human being, does everything. You are obviously, you know, guiding Toby, telling him what to do, helping him and stuff. But Toby just thought that this guy's his friend. Came to the house, sleep in the house until on the day um, that he had to go, he said, I'm an angel. 
there's nothing new underneath the sun. So don't let people tell you that angels are not like a higher angels are not real. Don't let them tell you that because they are real and they are here in this earth in 2023 as human beings. Some of them have got jobs. Do not be rude to strangers. Your angel is coming. They will introduce themselves. Many of you listening to me, if you show this video to your pastor, I know they're going to say this is a mad woman. They're going to say it. But she don't know what she's talking about. But we're in the prophetic. And this message is to wake you up for, so that you understand the times and the seasons that you are in. So yes, brothers and sisters, I wanted to come really and just make the second video because I promise. So vamos. Hallelujah. Vamos. That's the word. That's a Spanish word. Means to go, to vanish. Hurry, fast, speed, flee, run. But that's what's going to happen. Don't think some of you are going to have time to go home. And you might say, oh gosh, I'm all I need my, my knickers, my, my, my panties, my boxes, my bras, you know, personal stuff. You're not going to have time because I don't think people understand the woman in Revelation 12 when Ahaya says she flees. Got to understand what the Lord is saying. Flee. This is Jacob's trouble we're talking about. So something is urgently happening that is triggering a destruction for the Hebrew Yasha Elites scattered all over the world. Because now Satan knows that this is if this is his last chance. If he doesn't do what he's got to do, Yasha Hell is gonna go. It's gonna get out of his arm, his hands. So that's why the Bible say the woman fled. Satan spit water after the woman as a, as a flutter to bring her back to Babylon. He cannot leave Babylon. But our time, our captivity in Babylon is coming to an end. You're not truly free. I know they talk about, you know, slavery. It's been abolished and you're not free until you leave Babylon. That's just the truth. When the Bible says that 400 years of slavery is up, what do you, what, I mean, what, what is it that people are expecting? Oh, 400 years of slavery is up. Oh, Biden is going to give us reprobation. Um, everybody's going to love us again. Everybody's going to come and say, we're really, really sorry for bringing you into slavery. Is that what people are waiting on? No, that's not what 400 years mean. 400 years of slavery up. Ahaya says after that, the 400 years will be up. But when the 400 years is up, it's not for you to stay in Babylon. This is where people are getting it wrong. So just because you have equal opportunities and this and that, it's still there. And until Ahaya takes you out of Babylon, come on, no church. That is when the 400 years of slavery is up. You cannot be free and still in the land of captivity. It just can't happen. It's ridiculous. It's silly. So Ahaya has to remove those descendants whose ancestors went through the transatlantic slavery. This is real stuff. And if people open and speak about these things, the world will be a better place. This is nothing to feel funny about and, oh gosh, she's talking about it. But it is a truth. The reason why people get a little bit, I don't know, um, shame face when we talk about these things because they're not educated. And the people that should educate them really is the pastors on this truth. But it leaves people like myself and other YouTubers to come up and talk about these things. And then we're branded as black Hebrew Israelites. Like, the, the, this is nothing to do with black Hebrew Israelites. This is to do with the Bible. Go and read the Bible, everything I'm talking. The woman in Revelation 12, this has not happened yet. It's not happening yet, brothers and sisters. It is, it is coming. It will happen. I'm telling you, the, the going home. We're going home, brothers and sisters. We're, we're leaving Babylon. Satan knows this. The dirty, nasty Caesars and Pharaohs all over the world knows this. They know. But Ahai is going to wake up his people. But anyways, brothers and sisters, that's what it is, isn't it? Right? So here we go. So, um... If you have not accepted Yesiah as the Lord and Savior, please say this sinner's prayer after me. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Glory be to the Most High. Uh, what time is it? Ooh. I mean, uh, we call it a video, a video marathon. I'm trying to do a lot of video, 
back, 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 back. All right. The Yesai of Christ, I know that you're the son of a higher whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesai have died on the cross for my sins. Yesai, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. And that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of a higher. Yesai, king of glory. I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways. Ahaya, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesaya. And I pray that you'll help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. He said, I pray, I believe with the heart, welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. You've done that. You now need to find a man of the most high. Ahaya. Ask him to fully baptize you, fully dunk in water. Spiritual transformation when you go down. You're saying that Yesiah died on the cross. You believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most I raise you out of the water, you're raised into new life. You're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahia just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most Ahia who lives above the heavens. Ahia eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Something glory in your size, holy name. Amen and amen. Let's say the benediction. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the unwise sire, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.